We make our own hell, Chief. Six Degrees of Hell is a truly independent film, funded by an independent investor, put together through independent means, totally aside from a studio production. The goal of the film was to harken back to horror's better days, back when horror was fun, while paying tribute to some classic genre films along the way without tripping over itself in doing so. Yo, Nicky, when'd you become such a tough guy, huh? I think I'm done being a tough guy, Uncle Joe. Joe Rafa is a young filmmaker from the Philadelphia area who left film school after his first semester to go out and make his first movie. After cutting his teeth as both editor and actor, Rafa took a chance on producing, scripting, directing, and starring in his first dramatic feature, You'll Know My Name. I heard you talking. Keep your voice down. Are you really going to go? So keep your fucking voice down. I'm going to wake up mom and dad. Focusing on a single evening in the Jersey life of a scorned young man named Nick, Rafa was able to do something incredible for a film done on a small scale. He updated the American Western while making a film that serves as an important statement on a lost generation. Rafa's direction and his ability to assemble a top-notch crew under the auspices of gifted cinematographer Charlie Anderson allowed him to create a film that transcended its low budget and become a high quality, impacting film. It caught the notice of filmmaker Harrison Smith, who had recently completed the Cloris Leachman thriller The Fields, and opened the door to his directing Six Degrees of Hell. You go play while I finish supper. Stay out of the corn. You know what I told you, Jesus Christ. If you go in there, we'll never find you. If we do find you, you'll be all dead and black and swollen and smelly. It'll be just terrible. The Fields was shot in the Poconos of Pennsylvania for a budget slightly higher than You'll Know My Name. Utilizing the same local resources as Rafa's production, The Fields broke through the stigma of low budget and produced high production value, quality, and two known celebrity names on its marquee. Horror has changed over the last two decades, and Rafa knew Six Degrees of Hell had to be different. The story focuses around a Halloween holiday-style haunted hotel, and finding the perfect location came in the form of the Lake House Hotel of Horror, a real-life Halloween haunt located in Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. What happened that night at the Wild House when you called them in? It's important. This series of mini documentaries will take you on a tour of how an independent horror film gets started, put together, up in front of the cameras, and makes its way to the general audience through the distribution process. It is not an easy road, and despite how easy TV makes it look, it is a long haul with many pitfalls along the way. Six Degrees has been described as six individuals caught up in a supernatural perfect storm. The making of the film is a perfect storm of talent, ambition, and drive, with a group of individuals both in front and behind the camera that help bring 90 pages of words into 90 minutes of terrible fun.